Okay, Collective, I'm back with part two. Um, if you haven't uh, listened to part one of my dreams and downloads, definitely check that out. That should be uh, down below or uploading now as I speak. So let's get back to uh, what I was talking about in regards to, yeah, the lunar eclipse and my dreams. Um, I heard... Uh, while I was resting, I heard, um, you are a whistleblower. And I just, I, uh, I believe I woke up and was smiling or laughing. And I was just like, my inner soul was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. You know, you speak your mind or you're starting to. And collective, this could be uh, pertaining to you or how you feel. Maybe you was um, just, you know, keeping the peace. You probably continue to keep the peace. I'm just saying as in you speak your mind when you need to. You know what I mean? Like no more holding back. And that's what I'm referring to. Not like just popping off with your mouth, being disrespectful. No. Um, you speak when you want to speak. And you do it with <laughs> some force backing you up or um, as in like positive energy or your spiritual realm and team cheering you on saying, you know, let justice ring pretty much by speaking up. So, yeah, they were saying to me, you are a whistleblower, you are a whistleblower. And I thought of the seven dwarfs from... um I don't know why I think of Snow White all the time when I hear someone saying whistle and I was just like whistle while you work <laughs> so um, I know my spiritual team is uh, my family's doing work behind the scenes while I'm being this whistleblower at this time yeah they're behind the scenes doing work they take care of Things, people, places, and things um, that's not serving my highest good. Uh huh. You may have a strong spiritual backing that you don't see, but you could feel, or you do see, and they communicate to you intuitively. Mm hmm. Also, heard crystallize. So, Usually when something's crystallizing, it has absorbed, um, like a substance, um, or just energy, or you're being crystallized, so you're not being penetrated. Yes. It's on a counter. So, as a tunative reader, I... It's by the other medicines straight ahead. <clears throat> I take in everything that occurs during my messages, before, after, and then also in between. And um, just by that occurring, that could be someone that's, I don't know, going through some type of, I don't know, the energy I was feeling from the first video uh, that was tapping into my energy is going through some mental, physical, and some spiritual things. Because you just heard someone say, can I get some medicine? So I don't know if they're going through just some physical body, body changes, body aches. You know, my spiritual realms, your spiritual realms, collective. Again, they're kicking ass. I mean, and then it also could pertain to you um, just needing to get rest and maybe stretch more. Just take care of yourself and your body. Mm -hmm. And you're just taking extra things to uh, relieve discomfort. 
but yes there's a lot of discomfort happening to collective whoever's coming up against you on the spiritual realms they're going through some things right now so crystallize is what i was saying before they're trying to distract you before that interruption i don't know i feel like our bodies getting prepared to just be able to you know shine a little bit more like we're getting shaped and molded um to becoming someone stronger uh someone that can just radiate so much light and and pureness that even the darkness or dark energies can't penetrate your crystallized energy or body. Mm -hmm. Is what I got out of that. Um. <laughs> How I know. It was definitely a lot of uh, female energies. Um, as in witches in my dreams. Because I heard them chuckling um, this past week. Well, it's about to be passed. So from over the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I heard witches laughing and I was like, these bitches. But um, in my dream, <clears throat> I saw an elder lady. I think I was coming out of some type of building or some type of uh, school. And... Um, I was walking with somebody and an older lady just came out of nowhere. And I just felt like it was reminding me of back in the day type of scene where um, people with special gifts like this got pretty much um, and either they got hung or they got sent to jail or they just what's the other word um start with a p mm -hmm. it's dealing with the law uh oh, persecution they went through uh, a lot of persecution back in the day because people was just um afraid of what they didn't know when something's new or someone's new you know and someone's showing something different you know what i mean out of the box um you're going to have other energies or other people afraid because they don't know what that energy or that person is capable of mm -hmm. so i was feeling that way when i walked out of a building it felt like a school building and an older lady just came out of nowhere and was like uh, what did she say? Oh, she was calling me a monster. She was like, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. And a whole group was gathering around her. She was really trying to gather a whole bunch of people around her um, to rally me. Mm -hmm. But when I came out of the building, it was like I had a whole group. Like my soul tribe was with me of women. Uh-huh. It was so weird. And then um, while I was walking out the school building, guess who popped in my dream? The energy wise. Barack Obama. <laughs> Did I say it right? Barack Obama. Um, I saw him and he, uh, I looked and waved and he just looked and nodded his head. And I guess he was picking up somebody from the school. I don't know. It was so weird. He was going back into a van or something. But he had no crowd around him. It was He was like just a normal person picking up somebody from the same building. So I don't know if I was in like working for the agency, work for a special unit or agency in my dream. I felt I was. Uh-huh. 
and um, then I switched to uh, me being at a store but yeah before I get into that the older lady she looked like a witch herself and she was just so she was just trying to be so convincing mm-hmm um, trying to bewitch everybody in the crowd um, to come up against me but no one was following um, her lead mm -hmm. the old dazzle and distress type of energy I was feeling but this person was in an older body that was probably their real um, body their real um, image of them because, uh, you know, witches can disguise themselves into beautiful men or women. But they're real witchy, you know what I mean? Um, crusty, age, ecryptic, nasty, just energy and mask. They hide under that veil or under another image or body. As a meat suit, they look so confirmation, they look so old and just nasty underneath. Uh huh. So it switched from me being in a store, and again, I was with a group of women, and I saw a female um, in front of us was being taught to a certain way she was being verbally abused or physically abused in front of us out in public so this is the energy between possibly a male and female um this could be happening um to someone in a you know behind the scenes someone's going through domestic violence and the group of women i had Man, the energy they had behind me. Wow. It was my soul tribe slash my ancestors. I definitely felt like um, it was just a force field behind me, but they were in the flesh. And <clears throat> I just couldn't stand seeing someone get talked to or talked down like it was like a pimp type of energy and a pimptress you know so a pimp was addressing a pimptress mm -hmm. and um, I witnessed right away I said this is a womanizer in my energy and my dream so this could be a male uh, figure like a couple type of thing or uh, females can be womanizers too you know what I mean? <clears throat> or male nizers, but I saw a male and a female um, at it. And I think I said something um, to change the energy and atmosphere. He came up to me, and my team just came behind me. <laughs> like, what you want? They got that time of day type of energy. And I saw the crowd behind me. I don't know if people in my dreams saw it, but I just felt it and saw it. They were with me. And the guy came in front of me all tough. And when I said something, he was, it was weird. He was black, a black man addressing a black woman. And then he turned white. So he's a shape-shifting, um, flighty type of energy that was in my dream. He's a shape-shifter. Um, it could have been a fight between, or just the energies in my dream was of warlocks and witches, pretty much. And um, I said something to him, and I touched his nose, and he just melted like not literally melted but he just changed his energy like he turned into a kid or just he was a grown man but he just I softened him up pretty much 
you know that saying they say um uh what is it you add i always mess up analogies you you get more sugar with honey something like that anyway um I don't know, just the energy felt like it was of a familiar energy. And all of a sudden, we just started talking. I was talking to this womanizer. It was so weird. Like we were high school friends or something. And <laughs> I don't know, I felt like the energy was trying to see where I was located. Because I told him the city I was at. And then the, it just switched. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It switched to another scene. And. Um, I dreamed that I was running. Me and someone else. Was running. Um, either going after or is running from uh, dark energies uh, me and someone else so crazy right that was my um, my dream of part two um, <laughs> I have some other downloads and dreams to share with you so yeah, comment down below, Collective, if you're having some bizarre dreams. Um, either it happened before this uh, lunar eclipse or after. If you, you know, want to comment below. So we all can, you know, just relate and um, just want to let you know. You're not the only one, you know what I mean? So we're all, you know, connected here, Vibe Tribe. And um, till next time, you know, I'll go ahead and share some other downloads and dreams that comes up. And thank you for listening to my message. Okay, take care. <laughs>